solve these mainly with geometry. I, I found that it's, most students prefer using geometry over algebra for these, and geometry will work the geometrical process for different types of problems uh, is very similar, whereas the algebraic, the Pythag Pythagorean identities, what you're going to use if you go with the algebra route, you have to think about uh, which of the three Pythagorean identities do you need to use. So I'm going to stick with the geometrical way of uh, solving these type of problems. So I'll write the problem down and then talk about why it's not like the ones we just did. A lot of times you might see the word exact or the words exact value. Well, it should be correct in English, exact value of sine tangent inverse one half. So how are these problems slightly different? They have a trig function and an inverse trig function, yes, but they differ because it's not sine sine inverse. So it's two trig functions. They got a regular one and an inverse one, but they are not the uh, corresponding functions. So it's not sine sine inverse or tan tan inverse. So these are mixed trig functions. So what we're gonna do here is, let's see. What we're going to do is let, so this tangent inverse of one half is, is an angle. So let's let theta equal tan inverse one half. And also, uh, this means that tan theta equals one half. Unfortunately, um, I don't know tangent, uh, I don't know an angle has a tangent value of one half off the top of my head. Uh, if it was sine or cosine, I could do it. But tangent, pretty much tangents, the only ones we know about are 0, uh, 1, square root 3, 1 over square root 3, and the negatives of those. And of course, undefined. Uh, but 1 half is not one of those values. So we won't be able to actually figure out tangent theta, but that's OK. So let theta equal tan inverse 1 half. And because I did that, now the original thing is equal to sine of theta. What we're going to do next is geometry, and we're going to think of SOHCAHTOA. I don't know if I've talked about SOHCAHTOA before. I'll really briefly write down the acronym. So sine opposite over hypotenuse cosine adjacent over hypotenuse and tangent opposite over adjacent. So that is SOHCAHTOA. So a mnemonic device hopefully can help you remember a little bit better. So we're going to use it on this tangent theta equals one half. So tangent is somewhere right there at the bottom. Tangent is opposite over adjacent is one over two. Tangent, let's see. Our angles are positive, or our, our sides are positive. So we're in quadrant one. So our opposite side is one, adjacent is two. So I'm going to draw a triangle not to scale, opposite is one, adjacent is two, there's theta. Now right away you can tell it's not a unit, uh, it's not gonna be on the unit circle, that's okay. We can get the hypotenuse, h, with Pythagorean theorem, h squared equals one squared plus two squared, which is five. Hypotenuse is always positive, so you don't have to worry about plus or minus on this square root. So there's our triangle with that angle theta. And now all I have to do is figure out what is sine of theta. And that's the top part of SOHCAHTOA that is opposite over hypotenuse. And it's the same triangle. So I'm looking at this triangle opposite and hypotenuse. Opposite is one, hypotenuse is square root five. 
and that is the exact value of sine of tangent inverse of 1 half. And next up we'll do a problem. It'll be the exact same type, but different trig functions. And we're gonna solve it in the exact Sokotoa way. We just use sine above. Let's go with uh, cosecant and cosine. So again, this, it looks like these functions are similar, but they're not. Cosecant is uh, the reciprocal of the sine function, not the cosine function. So there's really nothing these functions have in common. So it's a mixed uh, trig of trig inverse problem. We're going to do the same exact first step. We're going to let theta, and the reason I'm using theta and not x is because I know that uh, <coughs> cos inverse one third, that one third is sides, and the output of <laughs> the output of an inverse trig function is an angle. So that's why I'm looking at an angle here. And now we're going to move cosine to the other side. Oh, let's do a negative one third. Negative one third. Okay. This part is important because you have to know what quadrant you're in. Cosine is negative in two quadrants. However, only one of the two quadrants is in the range of cos inverse. So if we look right here, range cos inverse is that was zero to pi. So this means I have to be in quadrant one or two. I'm negative, so I have to be in quadrant two. Don't have a choice on that. Now I'm intentionally not drawing these triangles to scale because uh, then we'll start making assumptions about the sides. So it looks like the x side looks to be a little longer than the y side, but I'm intentionally not drawing to scale, and so I'm not gonna pay attention to the relative lengths of the sides. So cosine Sokotoa adjacent over hypotenuse. <clears throat> so adjacent, we're in quadrant two, so our adjacent side right here, so that bottom side is negative one. Hypotenuse is three. Hypotenuse is always gonna be positive. We're in quadrant two, which meant our x coordinate, our x value is negative. And what I need to figure out is the y side or the vertical side here. So we got Pythagorean theorem again. Y squared plus negative one squared equals three squared. Negative one squared is one. Three squared is nine. Nine minus one is eight. I don't need plus minus square root eight because a hypotenuse, oh, no, I do need to pay attention. This is not a hypotenuse, it could be negative. However, we're in quadrant two, so I know y has to be positive. And if you wanna get fancy with numbers, this is two square root two, but you don't need to reduce it like that. This is not the answer, this is just the y value. Coming back to the original problem, I wanted to get cosecant. Now this cos inverse, negative one third, that was theta. So cosecant is one over sine. So Sokotoa, normally sine's opposite over hypotenuse, but we have cosecant, which will be the reciprocal hypotenuse over opposite. So we're gonna swap the two. So we got hypotenuse over opposite. So hypotenuse was three, opposite two square root two. And this is the uh, exact value of cosecant of cos inverse of negative one third. And this is the end of 10.6.